In the 1980s, about 37% of computer science graduates were women, and today that number is 18%. So it's the only industry where you've actually had a decline in women. We want to change that. My name is Geraldine Agredo. I'm 16 and I live in Astoria. I came to States when I was nine years old in 2007. I'm from Colombia. I was born there. I attend the Young Women's Leadership School of Astoria, which is a school that bases itself on the skills of communication, collaboration, and leadership. I did not grow up with an interest in computer science. I hadn't even touched a computer until the age of nine. I came one day inside the classroom and I said, we are gonna learn together how to make video games and the basics of computer science. They were like, what is that? Geraldine is a great young woman that has taught me the balance of life. I have seen Geraldine growing as a coder from zero to even getting recognized with an MIT award. I am very proud of her. I learned about Girls Who Code through Andrea and also a speaker. She was explaining to us the huge gender gap that is in computer science right now. Girls Who Code is a national movement. We are seeking to get more young women in computer science and technology and to change the numbers of women who are graduating in computer science every year. The seven week program is an intensive program where girls will come every day from nine to five and they'll learn how to computer program. They'll be exposed to female entrepreneurs and male entrepreneurs and mentors. They'll go on field trips and they'll see how technology plays in other industries. 95% of our girls graduate and they say that they want to major or minor in CS. My experience with Girls of Code Immersion Program was amazing. The first week was hard because it's you learning how to communicate and collaborate with strangers that you've never met before. From the first day we were already learning things. We started off learning basic programming skills and worked our way up and we learned different programming languages such as Python, CSS, C++. One of the biggest things Girls Who Code taught me was being able to be on stage and presenting your project to people, being able to sell it, being able to show how proud you are and articulate it through words. When I think about the products that our girls are creating, they're building apps to help fight bullying. They're building algorithms to help detect whether a cancer is benign or malignant. We're just not going to solve the problems that we're facing in our community, in our country, in our world if we don't have girls utilizing their technical skills. Programs like Girls Who Code are so important just because these girls just need the opportunities and they just need the exposure. Programmers, they have the ability to dream anything and be able to make it. The world that we live in today is so technology-based that programmers have a lot of power to influence it. So creativity goes hand in hand with programming. I'm gonna major in computer science in college to make a better world. Our girls are amazing, and they are going to build the companies of tomorrow, and they're solving the problems of tomorrow.